Hello and welcome back to Advent Day 22. I don't know why I said it like that. I've gone mad. Um, yes, day 22. Three days left to Christmas. Only two days left of these videos. Woo! Two days left of Owen Streamers. Woo! Let's celebrate together, Owen. Woo! He's gone delirious already. <laughs> already? I think, I'm doing, I think I'm doing well here. Electronics Advent Calendar, we already know what it is because I spoiled it yesterday because I'd already opened the door. It's not even in there. Where's it, where's it gone? Day 22's not in there. You, you just told me before we started filming that- I put it in day 21. You did. Day 20, did you have to bend the legs to get in? Yeah. 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 Day 22 is up here, but it was in 21 because it fell out because it was open already. Um, is a resistor. Today's electronics is actually incredibly ridiculously stupid. Oh, it's not plugged in. Oh, it is. Um, this is it. Literally, it's it's a strobe light, basically. I won't make it go too fast. Um, I should probably put a warning up, but yeah, you press this button to make it go faster, and this button to make it go slower. Thankfully, I think, because this camera's running at 30 FPS, it's only picking up occasional flashes. But I will put a warning in front of this anyway, just to be sure. But that's, that's that. It's amazing, isn't it? Bye. But you already knew that if you remember from yesterday. If you'd been paying attention. Had you? Hmm? Had you? Day 22 of cheesy advent, cheesy advent, cheesy, cheesy advent. Where the fuck does the door even open from this today? Oh, it's ripped. We've got cheddar, Woo! cheddar cheese. Oh, it's soft. Oh, it's so soft. Oh no. When I slammed that down, I felt it squish. Cheese. Rochelle Leah has submitted this joke. Why didn't the cheese want to get sliced? Fuck me. It had greater plans. I'm really not a fan of how soft these cheese have gotten. It's not even a puck anymore. Fallout! Dead how? <laughs> it hates me so much it started attacking me. Day 22, up here with the mysterious stranger, Perk. Good perk, by the way. One of the best perks in Fallout. I thought it was empty then, but then I realized they've literally given me a piece of paper. Oh no, it's a sticker that says, it's a red button that says, do not push. That's not even Fallout related. Like I get it's the, it's the red button. I get that. It's, it's the red button. You know, the one that launches the nukes, but. It's not like game art or anything. No, it's not game art. Hey Owen, remember that time when a $7.7 .7 billion corporation gave me a paper clip for Advent? I'm tempted at the end of this to get our fire pit out and burn the entire thing. How about a New Year's special? Burn everything Fallout's ever given us. Day 22 on Advent. Uh, there it is. Day 22. I hope it's 22. I've already forgotten what day we're on. 
the days just melt, meld into one. Peppers Circus. I'm looking forward to Pepper having some cultural appropriation. Making a dad proud. Pepper. Pig. Oink. RC carts down here somewhere. I keep seeing it. Every there it is. <laughs> Up. Down. What is it? It's Wow. Cursed day are we. It's the battery hatch. Sticker, cheddar cheese, battery hatch. There's a big stripy tent in Grandpa Pig's garden. Very big garden. Roll up, roll up. It's time for Pepper Circus to begin. I am glad that the Pepper Pig Company are setting precedent for how much land you should own. Let's cross our legs and hope that we don't have to say Tooth Fairy today. The children... Mr. Page. I thought the plot didn't make any sense. Oh wait, it never does. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are visiting Granny and Grandpa Pig. What's that? asked Pedro Pony. Is it a circus? wonders Susie Sheep. No, says Grandpa Pig. It's a tent for Granny Pig's garden party. Tories. Wine and cheese, business meeting. It's just a, a, a group of colleagues relaxing after a long business meeting. Not socialising. The drinks are just there because the people at Granny and Grandpa Pig's Corporation work long hours. The children decide to make their own circus. We can call it Pepper's Circus, says Pepper, being Pepper. Granny Pig thinks this is a splendid idea. She fetches the dressing up box. There are lots of good circus costumes in the dressing up box. Pepper finds a top hat. Danny Dog finds some spotty trunks and a stick on moustache. Interesting. All the things you could pick. Underwear. More, you know, swimming trunks, I guess. But yeah, all the things you could pick. I want to be a clown, cries Pepper. Too late. Pedro Pony is already been put on the clown outfit. Rebecca Rabbit does his clown makeup. Everybody has a job except Pepper. Pepper has made Daddy Pig very disappointed. She is now a benefits layabout. Couch potato. Thinking that Daddy Pig will support her forever and ever. The bank of Dad? No. You go out there, knock door to door, print out a copy of your CV and knock door to door and ask if there's any jobs going, just like it's 1995. Anyway. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Pepper, Pepper could be the ringmaster, says Grandpa Pig. The ringmaster is the boss. It suits Pepper well, to be honest. Yes, nods Pepper. I can be the ringmaster. The garden party guests arrive. Granny Pig shows them into the tent. Ladies and gentlemen, cries Pepper. Welcome to my circus. Oh God, the font, it, it's black font on a dark blue background. Now, says Peppa, please be very scared of the amazing candy cat. Rebecca Rabbit holds out a hoop for candy cat to jump through. George, Richard and Edmund, I don't think we've met two of those, uh, come out next. They ride around on their tricycles. I can't turn the page. I'm losing all sense of feeling and ability to talk and ability to read. Don't stop clapping, calls Pepper. Here's the strong Danny dog. Danny lifts Pepper up high into the air. 
The crowd goes wild. Danny Dog is very strong. Now it is Emily Elephant's turn. She juggles two potatoes and an egg. Ooh, gasp the audience. It is the end of Peppa's amazing circus. That, Granny Pig laughs, is the best circus I have ever seen. I like how on that page they chose to put the text in a white speech bubble, whereas previously they just put it on the dark blue background. That is the end of the book, by the way. What an amazing book. I rate that. Three. Out of? No. Just three. Just, just three. <laughs> just three. Cheese, cheese, cheese. It's definitely soft in places. It's gross. It's also shrunk on the top. Wonderful. <sighs> vintage. No, it's not even vintage. It's just cheddar cheese. Cheese, in it. Just getting it in before. Dry. It's real dry. Cheese, isn't it? It's just really fucking salty, dry cheese. Cheese. And with that, thank you for watching another day of Advent. I'll see you tomorrow for day 23 out of 24. Thank fuck, 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 to fairy. <laughs> thank fuck for that. I'm hoping you're having an amazing December. I'm hoping you're feeling really Christmassy. And I hope that if I don't see you tomorrow, because, you know, you might be off travelling soon. Uh, if I don't see you tomorrow, I hope that you have an amazing day. Um, yes. Thank you for watching. I will see you tomorrow if you're around uh, for day 23. Until then, stay safe. Merry Christmas. And goodbye. <laughs>